Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be decorating the pages in my classic happy planner for the week of April 18th through the 24th. I plan on using Happy Blooms, which is a new sticker book that I found at Michael's. Uh, I think it's exclusive to the stores. It's not available online. I think also at Joann's they have it. Uh, I was going to use that one, but I'm actually going to use the sticker book I just got today. Uh, it was from the new Be Happy box, this Flora sticker book. I'm going to use this to decorate this spread. It just has, um, it's kind of like pressed florals, which came out, um, I think last year. And I really like that sticker book. That one surprised me. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but then I ended up really liking it. I used it a lot. Uh, so I'm really excited to use this because it has those like pressed floral looking stickers in here. Uh, and I'm going to try to challenge myself to only use this sticker book because I've been using a lot of sticker books, pulling from a lot of sticker books, which is cool. It's fine. I mean, I have tons to use, but I want to challenge myself just to use this one. And it will be a challenge because there are a lot of box type stickers I don't normally like to use that are in here and I'll need to use them because I'm planning on making a spread just with this one. So, so yeah, I'm just going to use this sticker book. I also have, um, these two, these came in the box. So I feel like these would be okay to use too, since it's all from the same collection. These are a little bit different. They're clear stickers, but they kind of have a little sheen to them, a shine. They're very glossy. I'm going to try to stick to this book, but I might pull some from this too. Uh, but yeah, that's what I plan on doing for this spread. Just make a nice spring florally spread. And before I do that, though, I do want to give a shout out to two of my patrons over on Patreon, Diana and Renee. Thank you both for being over there on Patreon. I'm excited to have you over there. I'm very, I'm very appreciative of all the support that you guys have been giving me. And uh, if they have any socials, I'll link them down in the description so you can give them a follow. But yeah, thank you both for being patrons again this month. I hope you enjoy watching this video and all of you as well. Hope you watch, enjoy watching this as well. So I'm going to, I already started pulling stickers because I kind of wanted to get an idea. I started pulling like some of these florals and I was thinking of doing a scene, but honestly I already did like a florally type spring last, florally type spring, oh my gosh, scene last week. Uh, and I kind of just want to do, like, just put them wherever. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a little eclectic, I feel. I'm going to do lots of colors and put things wherever I feel like they should go. Uh, but that's the idea for this spread. Let me pull these out. What do I have planned for next week? Oh, yeah, it's my nephew's birthday next week. That one will be fun because I'm going to do a... Um, Oh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse spread. Yeah, because he loves Mickey. Okay. Oh, I need to find a washi. I want to use these, but I need a washi first. What I really like, I really like pastels with black and white. I just like that combo. So I'm going to use this striped one, which is actually from Live Love Posh. Just from this black and white washi box. Might have to get couple more boxes of these just for this particular washi because I just love it. Actually all the washi is really good. It's just this one is one of my favorite types of stripes. So yeah I think I'm going to add this in just to give like that black and white mold pop with all the pastels I'm about to put on these pages. Okay some there and put some here. I think I might add some on the top too. It's crooked. At least try to go to the edge with it, but so I don't waste any, but it's easier to put it down like this and just tear off that side too. Okay, I'm going to start on this corner. I always start on this corner. I don't know why, but I always do. So I pulled ooh, this big cluster ready like a big bouquet and then I'm gonna put this joy just here hmm. 
I feel like I'm gonna move this over. And then I have this quote. It says, be the reason someone smiles today. Oh, wait. Let me put the washi up on the top first. Okay. I'm going to put this one over here. It says, be, this, be the reason someone smiles today. Okay. Okay, so those are the only things I pulled so far. Oh, I do need a long box, which they're not my favorite colors for this spread, but I'm gonna pick one. Well, I could do pink. Actually, that was not bad. Oh, I don't, I think I was only looking at these two. I didn't know there was a third page. I actually like the pink one, so I'm gonna pull the pink one. And I don't like that I have two quotes next to each other, but it's okay. So, I'm going to put this here on the side. Because today is a good day to shine. At least it's not the same quote, so that's good. Okay. And, ooh, there's even bullet points. That's nice. So yeah, I won't have to use another sticker book because they kind of have everything I really need in here. It's just like when it comes to the boxes, they have things on them that I'm not a fan of, but like I said, I'm gonna try to just use what I have. I have this, this green is nice. Okay, I don't wanna use that one because I already put Joy here. And I have this yellow one. But I already have Smile. Or there's this one. Okay, let me see the other boxes. Okay, so I have all of these boxes too, which again, they have stuff on them, but at least they're just like little florals. So. Should I add some green? Let me see about, oh, that's the same as that, I guess. I'm usually not into matchy-matchy, like if I do it on, if I have something already on the page, I don't usually like to put it on the other side, but I feel like I don't really have a choice since I'm going to try to use just this book. Oops. And um, this has like that sticker all over the place. So can't really avoid it. That's okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to pick one of these. I mean, I like this green, but then I wish I had a green, another green box. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. I told you this is gonna be very eclectic looking type of spread. Be lots of different colors going on. Okay, so I want a double box over here on the weekend just because I like having some more space to write in. I don't have any plans this weekend, so. today here. Okay. I need like a floral over here. Oh no. I should bring in another big one. Oh, 
also wish I had some smaller boxes to pull in. These are pretty. It's <laughs> really hard to just use this book. Only this size. These. Hmm. Not a fan of those. It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Okay. I have these. since I don't have another box to lay. I wanted a, like a half a half size box to layer here, but I don't have that option. So I'm just gonna do a double box over here. Because that's what I have. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, and I'm gonna stick this here. And I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut this off. Oh, I cut a little bit too much off. It's not my favorite. <laughs> try to piece it back together because I cut part of the flower off and I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I just wanted a flower over there because I have this big one over here. I wanted one over there on the outside. Okay. Not too bad. Um, See if that would work there, but no. Okay. Let's see what else? I have bullet points. You can add some of those. These little headers. I have little quotes. Don't really have very many boxes left to use unless they're like the same exact sizes I've already put on the page. Let's see. What else can I add? Okay, let me see these headers. Okay. They say, relax, me time, write, read, pick up, to do. Okay. So I'm going to take this. To do this over here. And this to do because I don't have this like dark green color right here. And I could do some bullet points.
over here. So at least I got them in all the colors. So I'm gonna do some pink over here. So I don't really have pink on this side. Oh, these are kind of big. Okay. And then I can do two here, maybe like purple. Because I. Is there purple? Yeah, there is. Okay. I'll do this dark purple. It's really full. I didn't really add a lot of stickers, but it's really, really full. I don't know how to use these. Or, no, I don't want to use this. All right, I'm gonna see what else I can add. These are, oh, this is like a journaling type sticker book. So it has prompts for journaling in here. But I don't want it to be a journaling spread. So I'm not going to use those. Hmm. I don't know what else to add. I don't even think I can fit any decorative stuff. Let's add some of these. Kind of want to mix these into some of the corners, just for some more like visual interest. Okay, got that one. I can do. Do this one. I think this one will look better over here. Okay. Let me add. Okay, not too bad. Um, I think I might do some more washi, like some more black washi on the spread. Okay, so I'm just bringing in some grid washi. I'm not ripping it because I don't want it to look like, everything is like straight lines and I, I just don't want to rip it. So I'm just gonna add it to a couple corners. I think I did this one too short. Try that again. Okay, so I'm gonna have it go from here. It's crooked. When it's like straight, I have to feel like I have to put it down like straight. Cause or else it's super obvious if it's crooked. Versus like when I rip it, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me bring this closer to me. Okay. That and get. Yeah. I think that looks better. Okay. I think I might add just a little bit down here too. Cool. It's a very different spread for me, uh, but I actually really like it. 
it's really cute. It came out a lot better than I thought. Um, but I love these, like, um, these florally type stickers. Really cool. Alright, so I just need to repunch one of my holes. Right here. Right here. back in my planner. I just realized I didn't put um, yellow on this side. Well, I have yellow here. I don't know if that's going to bother me, but it's fine. I'll let it be. If not, I could always add, let me see if I can add a yellow sticker, like this gold, like sticker. You know what? I'm not going to add anything. I like it the way it is, so I'm going to leave it like that. And that is going to be my spread for this week, for the upcoming week, using the new Flora, st Flora sticker book. This one is available right now to purchase in a Be Happy box, so you can buy it separately, uh, but you can buy it in that box. It comes with a bunch of other items in it, too. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this plan with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.